good. Morning, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gal. We are gonna do some uh, Final Fantasy IV randomizer. Jumping straight into it. Uh, this is a regular uh, five random objective seed. Let's see, Yang and Ridia with a Leviathan summon, okay. That's not ideal, but I guess we'll roll with it. See what my objectives are. Earth Crystal, Magus Sisters, Big Whale, Odin, and Darko. So our objective is going to be to hunt these bosses down. Uh, looks like three bosses. Um, and we need to get the Earth Crystal and the Big Whale. Um, we're going to do a little looting first. And we should be good to head in after not too terribly long. And uh, just start looking for stuff. Silence Rod's actually... Possibly gonna just allow us to use uh, Ridia as a physical attacker. It's a very high damage weapon for a staff. Flame Whip might actually be better though. <laughs> what am I doing? Going the wrong way, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Up up to Kaipo. Just want to check who or what the items are here. We do get a starting package, but ooh, vampires. So yes, if you haven't seen one of these before, uh, we, this is Final Fantasy IV, uh, the bosses are randomized, the key item locations are randomized, and the treasure chests are randomized. Uh, the places where you can recruit characters remain the same, but are randomized. Our goal is to complete our five random objectives to get the crystal, so that we can go beat Zeromas. shirt, which is actually a lot of money. I wish I had that before I went to buy those items. I would have sold that over the Dragoon uh, armor. Let's go ahead and just get the hovercraft. There's a decent chance we'll need it. Because of the settings that we have on this game, uh, we're not going to be able to recruit characters like in locations like this, where there are no key items required. Every character is going to either require us to beat a boss or have an item. And we will get better items from shops and locations that are uh, guarded, either by bosses or key items. I guess let's just give her Leviathan. I don't think she even she can even cast it right now. Save. And 
then let's see who the character on Hobbs is. Um, getting a third character seems like a really good idea right now, because that way Rydia is less likely to just die horribly immediately. The game has a decent amount of hit points. This is not going to be a fun fight, but it should be doable. So... This boss only hits for 10% of damage every time, no matter what. So, Rydia, it's always going to take 10 hits. As long as we just beat it before that time is up, we should be fine. We're just going to grind out this first fight. Um, Spot doesn't have that many hit points. I mean, it's a bit, but we should be able to burn through it, especially because it's three separate enemies. The reason we can't kill the attacker is because if we kill it, uh, the boss will start attacking us for straight nines repeatedly. Okay, Yang gained 3 levels, Cecil and Rydia gained 10. That'll make everything going forward a little easier. So because three of our objectives are bosses, we're going to be doing some, or just popping in for some boss locations that we wouldn't normally do. Um, Dancing Dagger. I actually like that better for Rydia than what she's using. I think? Yeah, probably. Gaia... 
I don't think anybody else can equip any of this. Yang might be able to equip Gaia? Nope. Just running into some mismatch between the uh, characters we've got and the items we've got. So yeah, Big Whale and Earth Crystal are pretty likely to just happen in the course of running through things. Um, the three bosses we have to beat, Maga Sisters, Odin, and Dark Elf, could be at any of the boss locations. So we're just going to have to hope that we run into them. Tiara is one of Rydia's best equipments. Defensively, at least. Sorcerer Robe is also one of her best equipments. Thunderclaw. Let's Yang attack twice, that's important. Use one of our tents. We're going to want to use those on the early areas. Uh, they don't restore life or cap or status like cabins do, and they only restore partial HPMP. So we are okay with. Uh, Okay with this approach. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So this one should go real fast. Um, it only has a thousand hit points. Uh, we're probably going to have Cecil use a vampire, Rydia use dancing dagger, and Yang attack with his power. that shouldn't do too much. Okay. Darkness crystal right off the bat. Great. <laughs> um, that's weird, but probably okay. So normally I wouldn't go straight to the moon. But given the fact that we just got the Darkness Crystal this early, uh, I'm not going to go fight bosses on the moon. But I'm going to go get the character and check the shop, and maybe loot Cave Bahamut. Um, Cause that seems like a good idea. got some items we can sell so we should be able to get some good loot and depending on what's there that might be really helpful going forward. Also it's one of our objectives so may as well get it out of the way. <laughs> She 
Perplex from the moon. Big whale. There we go. One down. Let's pop over to the item shop quick. Check the shop first. Uh, let's grab a couple illusions, sure. Uh, that's a thing that just happened. So Edge is really powerful. Um, he comes in at level 25. He's got good equipment. We actually already have a ninja sword for him, which is better than his current equipment. Uh, for one of his weapons. A lot of the rest of that equipment is uh, really good for him. So normally I wouldn't come over to this cave, given that we have just started looting. I mentioned that stuff that you get in gated off areas is better. Well, this is about as end game as it gets. down and check who the boss is. I'm not expecting it to be something good. Yeah, no, Belvalos is not a thing that's happening. We're gonna head back to Earth. We're not actually gonna try and fight anything there because that would be really stupid. However, with this party going and doing a few more easy bosses is totally reasonable. in here, but I'm not expecting much. And then we're going to go up to Fabul. Another tiara, wow. So if we get Rosa or Porum, that'll be really good. Or a duplicate for about uh, Rydia, I guess, technically. Um... 
So Sylph is really good. <laughs> Bandanas are really good. Uh, that's one of the best headpieces we can get in the entire game. Since the goal is speed, stuff that increases your strength is generally good. It also is a very decent defensive piece because it increases vitality. Need a little more money. I'm gonna re quick re equip everybody. Get that rune armlet to re like Rosa. Or Rydia is basically ready to beat the game at this point. Yang is not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ninja. Long. Um. Sell my pants as well. We're probably fine for beating this boss, but for the sake of simplicity, since I haven't saved in a while, I'm just gonna go out, save quick. Probably gonna have Rydia lead off with Sylph, which heals your party and damages the enemy. Um, awesome. There was act or was partially so that finishes the enemy quickly, and it also uh, gives my party a uh, heal without having to stop and heal later. Power shirt, rune axe. Thought there was something over there. I keep forgetting where those locations are. Not a key item, not a boss we needed. Power shirt's not bad. It'll make Yang not suck as much. Straight to ordeals. I suppose we could have done Baron at this point. Crystal. 
Okay. I'm listening. You've got my attention. Basically the same strategy we just used, or similar. Um, sure. Actually, self is. That may not actually. Oh no, no, it didn't. Good. That should be it. Didn't even go missed for him once. Don't give me a moon boss there, that makes me nervous. Okay. Was not the one I was worried about, <laughs> so we're okay. Uh, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. We switched front and back row because this is always a back attack. So it has a long animation, which is not good for repeated use, but it is very good for early game, especially when we don't have a white mage also. Pause and run uh, makes that animation go faster. Everybody's at full health. Or close. And there's almost nothing this boss could be that we're really concerned with. Except Wyvern. <laughs> and even there we may have a chance. Zeus Gauntlet, not a key item. That's really annoying, actually. This is really, really thin on key items early. Tisa becomes a paladin. Golbez. Ugh. Yeah, that's annoying, actually, but it's less of a problem than it could be. Okay, I'm not going to use the Star Bales preemptively, just in case. So he only has a thousand hit points. This is a really weak location magically, so it should be okay. He's just gonna kill two party members. Uh, we're gonna throw a reflect up on one of our other ones and then just let him kill himself and spells. Uh, this location also doesn't give XP, so it's not like we're missing anything by just having two party members up at the end. want to use another star veil at this point. Like, it's genuinely going to be up that fast. <laughs> like, this is actually a really scary... shaping up to be a really scary party. 
Uh, we need a good weapon for Cecil. He does have a rune axe, and uh, he's got a crystal gauntlet, which will be nice. Bandana. Yes, yes. You're very pretty, Tella. Okay, so at this point we're gonna do... Hmm. I mean, I guess we had to Baron get our last party member. Add Baron in. Actually, I'm going to save first. And we're going to check the boss locations over here. Just to make sure that we don't- that they're not Mega Sisters, Odin, or Dark Elf. Mega Sisters. Genuinely, I've never actually found a boss that I was looking for at the Magasis or at the uh, Leviathan or Ugh, Leviathan Octomom. Okay, that's elements. That's definitely not what we need. So yeah, we're just resetting out there really quick to because we don't need to do that location, and it's not one of our required bosses. Cecil and Yang are actually both really well equipped now, too. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling good. We just need to find some bosses that we can actually fight. Okay, that'll be nice for taking the boss out quick. That would have been nice. Whoops. There's a second part to this boss. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, Rydia survives it. 
all you have to do for that boss is fight, uh, survive three rounds. Uh, the second boss is gonna be a Shura. Okay, I'm gonna try and time this one out. It should cycle back to the life every time. It's not a super high hit point location. So I'm kind of hoping we can just power through it at this point. Crap. That's not what I wanted to see. Crap. Double crap, crap. Think of a book. Oh boy. Okay, so I guess we're going hook. Uh, that means we get to go underground. And I think that is actually the only location we've got available, so we're gonna have to dive. Um, pretty quick here. At least we have a decent party. Um, Kane joining up is mediocre. Unfortunately, he shares a lot of gear with Cecil, so... Unless, depending on what we find here, there's a decent chance that this is not going to be uh, good gear-wise. We'll see who we get as a fourth character, or a, as the character for the hook seed. And depending on who that is, uh, we may switch out. Those are sirens. on Cecil earlier, so he's actually good to be in the back. I'm going to open a few chests on my way down. And then I will flip and come, or get the rest of them on my way back after we get a chance to sing. One of them is a trap chest, and we do not have the stuff that we want to beat that securely. 
I mean, we'd probably just use Leviathan and it'd be fine, but... Um, actually, let's see who this is. Callum? Callum. Who do we replace with Callum? Where's that Quorum? Either way, we probably take them over... What, over Kane? Honestly, at this point, yeah, I'll take a care. I'll take a Porum over a cane. Um, just because we don't have equipment, I guess. Unfortunately. Creepo, Mutero, Macro glitch, the silent staff. Yara. Gaia. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go hunting for this treasure chest. And the reason we're doing this is to part of it is because we want the treasure chest, or because we want the rest of the treasure chests. Um the stuff past the hook is all counts as, you know, I guess quote unquote good treasure because it's behind a key item. There we go. Monsters. We may be okay. <laughs> everybody alive for this if possible. Crap. This is really obnoxious. <laughs> Just reset. Let's just reset. <laughs> We're not losing that much there. Um, actually, let's real quick check agility so we can make sure our relative agility is good. to the cave first, since we know where that is. Second room X. Figures. Lots of tiaras. Okay, so we're gonna do...
that is not the person who needed to use that a lot. That's a little unfortunate. Because I wanted everybody to get those levels. Second full moon. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, ninja's better. Since I didn't really explain it earlier, Cecil is currently equipped with uh, a melee weapon, but because I temporarily equipped a ranged weapon and then swapped it, uh, it counts as him having a ranged weapon basically for the rest of the game. It's dumb, it's a glitch, it's fun, and it is kind of important. Finding a couple extra swords laying around isn't a bad thing because I have edge, so I can throw them at bosses if I need to. Uh, the boss for this section is probably going to be a bit rough also. Ogres have very, very high magic defense. I'm not sure how much, how well they'll take a um, not sure how well they'll take a Leviathan. Um, let's just test with Silk. Since I probably need the healing anyway. Let's see if we can actually get a life or two off here. Nope. Didn't track it well.
Oh yeah, silent star. There we go. Berserk, exit, heal. <laughs> He still learned exit. Glad I spent money on those exits. And a Bacchus wine. That's actually really good. And Berserk a character. So we can open the rest of the treasure chests here. Uh, this boss. There's two bosses at the end here. It's not gonna be pleasant, I don't think, but it should be doable, depending on the bosses. Uh, one of these bosses has a very high hit point total, so it could be a bit rough. access to a lot of areas, and also just because we get access to, uh, uh, we can use the sirens, are you serious? This is gonna be really, really, really bad. on his hit point total. So this is going to just wreck us completely. Oh, I'm wrong. This one is. What's that? That's Odin. I think? No, 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 no. That's King Queen Evelyn. That's a free fight. Never mind. Full heal. HPMP restored. King Queen Evelyn. I thought I realized that. That could have been really bad. So we'll wait out the script. One more. There we go.
pitfall? No! Hey, an hourglass. That would have been great for the uh, fights we were just doing. Against the treasure chests. We can use it to grind against one of the uh, eggs, though. Black sword. Not actually helpful. Thinking we probably have enough just raw damage output that we should be able to actually just grind a couple eggs without a problem. But we'll see. Got the falcon. I can, or how much I do. If we can kill one of these before they uh, get an attack off, we're probably fine. Probably would have just been more two more attacks anyway, but whatever. Actually, with the virus, that should actually help a lot. A smart person would probably stop here. Siren? Okay. They have 1800 hit points, so that was a really bad roll, apparently. But finishing up with one shot should kill it. Tier 3... I was just curious how much he was going to do. I just got image. Okay, we're actually probably more than okay right now on levels. Part of 
part of the reason that I went a little bit overboard there was because uh, if we go to summon monsters, and I want to be able to actually try and fight bosses. There is one trap treasure chest in this dungeon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open treasure chests. And we'll see if we find it. We're actually doing really well on here, so I maybe don't want to go super overboard here, but... We're gonna be able to sell a lot of what we picked up recently. Another Bacchus wine, nice. That's good. That's good. Okay. Matsumune, not a key item. <laughs> we are getting such bad luck on key items. I don't even really need the 10. I'll just grab two. Let's do like a... Okay, so we can get rid of that, get rid of that, that. Um, that, that, that. is now the slowest. I think that'll change when she grows up. <sighs> so we're getting into kind of weird territory here because we really don't have a lot of key items. Like, this is blowing my mind that we have found so few key items. Um, but we have really, really good equipment. Like, again, technically, like, we could get better equipment for a few characters, but this is equipment that we could, for the most part, take to the boss, or to the endgame. Copy into both of these just to make sure that I know what we've got available in case there's something new or exciting. I do want this just so he can jump in front of people better. <laughs> Let's see what these bosses are.
should be good now. Uh, so Hourglass is a really powerful stop effect with an extended duration. I'm just gonna let Cecil go to town here. bit of security. So the life potions I was throwing there, uh, there's a glitch where if you throw a life potion at a non-boss enemy, it will revive with zero hit points and you get the uh, XP of two kills. So those dark imps count as a non-boss enemy. Artificial arrows and they're non item? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna be so mad if everything's on the moon. <laughs> uh, the good news is we may actually be able to beat Octomom here, too. Um, Octomom is very... Hit or miss, and that is a very fast location to have Octomom. Um, but I think once we get stabilized, we'll be okay. This is going to be a very speed intensive fight. got that berserk going. Um, let's see how much he does with blitz. I'm mostly curious. He gets slower every time he loses tentacles, and he loses tentacles every time he gets hit. We started out by slowing him with a uh, silk web. Berserkers go to town. Uh, Yang's doing lots of damage because he has uh, Thunderclaws on.
Hey, there's our Earth Crystal. Glad we did that. We were really in need of some direction. And uh, it's one of the downsides with... Like, getting all this gear early is neat. But not getting any place... Like, any good direction as to where to use it is a little annoying. Um... I guess let's go check the crystal, because it is one of our required spots. Actually, just the treasure is a required spot, not actually the trading it in, so that's actually interesting as well. We can do both. Um, there's a chance that we'll end up changing our mind about which characters to do, depending on what we find there. I was a little tempted to do Dwarf Castle just so Rydia can grow up, but depending on who we find here, there's a chance we'll go with somebody else anyway. That also reminds me we have a Mist Dragon we can check. Um, at this point, we just need to find the Odin and Dark Elf bosses. So technically... We don't need to find key items, we just need to find the bosses. Lots of full moons, this is getting ridiculous. Crystal shield, ninja helmet. That's a really, really good haul, actually. Um, and it's a lot of money. So I can use that to get the second crystal helm that I was find or that I found. I suppose another option we could do is just go buy some more hourglasses and go to the moon and just wreck everything after we grind up a few levels. Um, there's several bosses here, let's just do it. Probably dumb, but whatever. Hey, there's Odin. May have actually been dumb then. I don't think this spot's very fast, though, and it doesn't have a ton of hit points, so we're just gonna wail on it and hope that we survive. find Dark Elf. Oh. 
So at this point, Rydia might get replaced if we find a Fusoya, but otherwise I'm probably not gonna bother at this level. We've already done- we've already ground for enough levels that it's not worth it to grab a- or to switch over to Alum, probably. This isn't hitting hard enough that I'm super concerned right now. More not key items. quick and then we'll uh, come back to do looting and shopping, maybe? Mylon. In the first spot. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. And I think this is Mylon Z. He's weak to holy. He is weak to fire. part fight we do want to just do as much damage as fast as possible so we go in healthier on the second fight. Let's see what we got. And then I guess we have to do Mylon and friends for the second one. Oh Edward you can go away. We do get Rydia growing up. So 
she gets more black magic and uh, better summons, or more summons, rather. Oh, I should have done an hourglass, that's right. here allows us to focus our attacks on Mylon, who's already dead, never mind, uh, without the ghasts being eliminated, which changes his script, and without the ghasts being uh, able to take turns to waste our time. Apparently I should have just done a strong attack, thrown a bomb or something. We haven't done Tower, Sealed Cave, Park, Baron Castle, I'm not sure what we're looking for, so I'm not sure why I'm doing this. Hey, back to points. getting through this and there's like literally a, one or two items at this point that I would be looking for and there's I feel like it's more important to just press through like another Masamune for Edge would technically be better than what he's got uh, Yang could use any of his actual stat increasing claws, like the cat claw or the poison or charm claws. Cecil has like three swords that are better than the light bear. I mean, I guess technically like a stardust rod and a life staff would technically be better.
cards. So this is going to be a slaughter. <laughs> size actually impacts your defensive stats, so I just went ahead and healed it. Wow. The other guards. This is a key item. So we're gonna do it. let this guy run away. Oh boy, it's Tella. He's my favorite character ever. At this point, I would consider a Fuso. That is literally the only character I'm really thinking about right now. Ridiculous. Let's see who's down here. So there's five spots on the moon, two in the tower. That's Leviathan. Technically, there's one spot on the tower we can't get to right now. It doesn't feel like Cecil's doing enough damage. I'm gonna just use the... Or re-enable the back row glitch here, make sure it's actually taking. Something feels off with it.
Wow. That just happened. Okay. Apparently I just got an Excalibur without needing to do the trading sequence for it. That's one fewer item we need. Like, we're literally looking for cat claws at this point. That's it. And Yang's still hitting like a truck without them, so... I'm still absolutely shocked at this point with how many items we're getting that are just items. Seriously. I have no idea what I just accidentally sold, but I'm not actually that concerned. <laughs> Chances of him be or of the Dark Elf being on the moon is higher than him not being on the moon, I think. We've got vanilla Dark Elf spot. We've got two in the tower, one in the sealed cave. Um We know it's not Bahamut. Or not Bahamut, uh Yeah, yeah, Bahamut. We know it's not Bahamut. Technically, I could just reset out of these if there are any hard bosses, but I do still want to hopefully find the- or part of this is going to be- this is- each of these bosses is a chance to either get the Twin Harp or, um, the Tower Key, which may be required. Technically, there's also bosses in the Giant of Battle. We could check. I was actually going to check the upper level first. Yeah, 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 that's what I did. Okay, good. Again, it's not that I can't do that fight, it's that if I have to choose one fight to do right now, I'm gonna just head to the Lunar Subterrain and just take everything out. Also, I can grind a little bit more here, that's three.
I mean, that's still okay XP, but not what I was looking for. And that was my last hourglass, which was done. and if I beat some of these lunar bosses on the line. We still have some not terrible bosses left, I'm pretty sure. Although we just cleared a couple of them. Not sure if Antlion in one of these spots is good or not. <laughs> We've still got Plague, which is not hard. Uh, let's see, yeah, Plague. Hailed him. Um, Antlion. Obviously, Dark Elf. Which is not bad. Most of those are not bad. There we go. Not a bad magic spot, so we're actually fine until he changes form. He's also weak to light. Like I said. Caliber Cecil. Cecil hitting things that he's strong against with his caliber is just ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the crystal. We're actually at the bottom of Lunar Subterrain. I just clear some more bosses and hope it's enough. Like, my levels aren't bad, but some of them aren't great. And by that I mean, uh, Rydia and Forum are squishy. Because I have so few key items, we're not getting the five or the double XP rate that we would get normally. But we also have a really good party with really good equipment. choose to here. Eh, it could be worse. Wow. That says something. Cecil survived a glare. That's one of the most powerful, like, attacks there is.
forgot to check the Mist Dragon turn in. Which doesn't actually matter that much in the long in the big scheme of things, but uh, could have been another key item towards getting my my total. Magma key, oh boy. Just try and beat the rest of the lunar bosses and then go. Beat Seromas. Try. See if it works. I mean, we've got a crystalled out Cecil with an Excalibur. We've got Edge with Masamune and Ninja Helm. Potentially Zeus Gauntlets. scripted fight. As long as we just hit it three times, we win. Hopefully it doesn't hit Forum or Rydia at this point. We're good. Arg. 61,000. Quake. Another level. Luca Key. All the stuff. I mean, the good news is we already have all the stuff that we, like, all the items we need at this point. At the, we're literally just potentially getting one more to level faster. We're gonna go up to the Wyvern spot. <laughs> Do that. And then if we need to, we can walk around and open a few. Like, if that actually gets us to 10, just turning on random encounters or opening a few trap chests can get us the XP we need to get a little bit higher at least. I don't feel like we want to go back to Earth at this point, and I don't feel like we want. I do have one Cyber also, so theoretically I could pull up some Ryu's that way. I care about. Perfect. A little more XP. And key item. Package. There we go. There's ten.
Uh, this guy does counterattack when you attack, so we're not going to attack him too much here. I guess if you're gonna do that, leaving as long as Porum and Rydia survive, I care a little less. Heck, at this point, I I mostly just care if Porum survives because Rydia is a black mage in a berserker party. in the endgame are actually scarier than the actual uh, last boss. The last boss has a very or does have a very set pattern which helps a lot. <laughs> to use the siren. So that's my last thing I was going to do here. So you know what? We're just going to... I'm pretty sure it is not in this room. I think it is one or two floors up. Actually, it might be in this one. Let's try this one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm right. Okay. We don't have any hourglasses, so this is literally just gonna be... ...brain.
Okay, only 120,000. better, so let's just do it. I mean, I guess technically we could easily get better by just grinding a little bit more, but I don't feel like the grind is worth it. We don't have a pass. We don't want to try and go back to Earth and then come back. Let's just do it. We have a pile of Bacchus wine. Um... Actually get this on my first try, um, then I'm gonna feel pretty solid about where am I where, about that routing because I'm pretty sure that uh, the time that uh, uh, Tony listed was over two hours. So I'm not sure where I'm at after resets at this point because I did reset a lot and we're at like an hour forty, but I think we might be able to get past that. Keep it under two hours. If we die a lot, maybe not. <laughs> we have soap clubs left. We don't have soap clubs left. from Sonic? That's Sonic, right? Um... I guess we're just gonna risk this. Let's get it off before the Big Bang. Counter nuke on someone who can probably take it and the big bang. It should be a low power one, so we should be okay. to the damage. I feel like my counts are a little low right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get some reflected white and new connection going. This one's probably gonna be a full hour big bang. We're not gonna take it well. <laughs> There's 
pretty good chance of Forum and Rydia dying. But... Seventeen thousand. Okay with that. Let's see how lucky I can get. Ooh, media. Forty to media. That was... I was trying to draw out another counter new. That was amazing. That is probably the best Zero Miss fight I've had ever. Especially considering I didn't have anybody who could actually take that full power... Or didn't have a uh, mage who could take that full power Big Bang. That was really good. I feel like I made a lot of good early choices. Why is this still... Did the game just crash? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that, I feel like the routing choices I made were pretty solid. Um, like the only ones I can think of were I should have checked, um, should have checked Miss Dragon's uh, reward after I killed it, which at no if nothing else may have given me another key item, so I got double XP there at the end. Um, I slightly maybe misrouted a few of the choices for bosses at the end, but it didn't matter, because it ended up taking all of, almost all of the bosses to get through it. Um, I'll have the time posted in my, or in the actual video, um, since it's all, or since it's single segment. It's probably right around two hours or a little before. Um, because I did reset several times. It wasn't death, so it was just a... You know what? It might actually be, like, 250, 255. So, I'll be... I'll take that and be happy with it. Uh, <laughs> this is one of... I feel very happy with this run, and it was probably one of the best... As far as strategy for the bosses, I felt like almost all of them went very fast. There was only one that I was really grinding away at, which, realistically, I probably should have uh, backed up the CPU um, and done something else first. And if I had, Rydia would have had enough MP to cast uh, Leviathan, which would have one-shot CPU. That's probably the slowest boss I had. Um, most of the rest of this just felt pretty solid. Um, and I am definitely okay with uh, the way that that Zero Miss fight went. I got lucky. I wasn't counting damage. And I shot a nuke off without reflecting it on purpose to try and draw out that counter to keep Quorum uh, alive. I kind of had this realization moment of all of my uh, fighters are berserked. If everyone else dies, I just have to sit there and wait and watch it. Go. And if they get killed by Media or Big Bang, it's over. So, it was kind of a panic move that ended up being the 
killing blow. If I'd reflected it, it still would've killed, so it's not like it was the end of the world either way. Um, but it felt good. This, this seed in general felt really good. I'm sure I missed something, but obviously I've done them, so hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. As always, have a good one.